feel like I'm losing my mind Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign Welcome back to FAQ The Madness. We respectfully exercise our First Amendment right to publish interactions with government officials through the unbiased view of a camera. Let's jump into another ref. Recording. I like this. Yeah. I don't know if I told him, but I really do like his... Uh... Be quicker than that. Good morning, <laughs> good afternoon, good evening. No matter when you are, where you are, who you are, how you are, Craig and I hope you're doing well. This is Frequently Asked Questions with Fact the Madness. Frequently Asked Questions Craig in the House. Yours truly, generally specific. Call me Todd. Call me whatever you want, really. Just try not to call me late to chow. I got to figure to maintain. Uh, Craig, would you like to say good. hello? Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Good to be here and good to see you. Hope we have a awesome. good uh, show. Thanks for having me. Indeed, indeed. What do you mean? Thanks for having you, brother. You're part of the show. <laughs> right, right to that. Wouldn't be the show without you. I, matter of fact, I may have to do some uh, carrying some water on occasion. And I, I'm aware of that. And, uh, you know, there may be times where you're not going to be able to make the show. And we'll try to make do. You're going to be irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. That's what you are. So that's why darling it's incredible <laughs> love it come on man that's what i'm talking about come on man all right so this is uh frequently asked questions with fact and madness and yours truly generally specific today's topic is immigration situation what's the situation all right so we're gonna we're gonna dig down a little bit um it, you know it, and i and i talked a little bit i alluded to this last night in the show where you know sometimes i'm kind of surprised um how the average person doesn't know a lot of the things that are going on in, within the country as well as itself. And it, it surprises me. And then I kind of, it kind of occurred to me, I was talking to Craig this morning, right before the show that, um, you know, I get a paycheck, although it's not a whole lot, but I'll get a paycheck whether I wake up or whether I just sleep all day. Um, and you know, that affords me a lot of time to work on my homestead, put some earbuds in, listen to a bunch of shows without having some boss saying you need to pay attention to your job. You just killed Tommy over there because you weren't focused on your job. Um, whereas a lot of the average person, the average person out there, you know, has to really, really focus and pay attention and they're working for another person in some cases. So I get that when you have your head down and you're kind of focused on putting food on the table directly for you and your family, you don't really have the luxury of the time to do a lot of exploring and poking around in different topics. And uh, so it's, it's interesting to me as, you know, I guess the, the resident tinfoil hat wearing dude who kind of seems to know all the different conspiracies. And then you got Craig, who's kind of your everyday man, who's focused on feeding his family. He's focused on the hustle. He's focused on paying attention to. I think he's being a little bit um, gracious in his, in his assessment, but I'll take it, baby. I will take it. Craig often, once he looks into an, a subject, he'll find blind spots that I didn't even know I had. So I always end up benefiting from him doing a deep dive. So I hope you will all find some benefit in that as well. So Craig, um, you did do a little bit of research and you had a couple of things that you wanted to share with a little bit of research. The group. I, put I mean, those down who knows? The, it might uh, not be. They're already uh, hyperlinked. It, it, it might not notes. be all that I hoped it would be, but um, I, I mean, I think I think we did. I think we did all right at the end of the day i want to be able to find common ground and we really do try we really did try so i don't know about you but i've yet to go to new york i've yet to go to chicago i've yet to go to any of these places that uh um that have these issues at hand so no matter how much i look into the news or to what we talk about uh i may still it still may be elusive as to what is actually going on. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, I, I just, I think our discussion, we're not going to 
uh, resolve any of it today, um, but we certainly can can have a better understanding of what's going on, how it will affect our lives, um, you know, our ability to to take care of our families. That's that is what she said. <laughs> did I get my point across or not? I I mean I tried. I really did try. I tried, but I digress. I digress. It's okay. It is okay. You know, it, it's interesting uh, hear, hearing what you're saying. Is uh, in the army we had um, identifying the problem is the first step to solving a problem. So we have to identify that a problem even exists. All right, what are the parameters of the problem? You know, amen. There, what are the obstacles to communication to try to fig- figure out how to resolve that problem? Are there physical barriers? Are there language barriers? Are there uh, ideological barriers and all these different aspects of, all right, there's a problem. First, the first step to, to fixing it is to identify that there's a problem. All right, well, what is the problem? Um, and so to me, it seems very clear that the problem is, as you illustrated, you showed a video, which I found to be very interesting. Um, and we highlighted it, um, on this show. And we, you, I think you, you, you illustrated, um, it was an ESPN guy and he was, he's pretty woke. I mean, he's pretty, he was pretty much, you know, part of the system where he's like, you know, just reading whatever the cue card said in front of him. And then I think he's finally waking up like a lot of Americans are going, Hey, we're being bamboozled here. Why is it that we have all this money to send to all these other countries and we got all this money to bring in wake people up. that are immigrants wake or up. allegedly asylum seekers, but wake we don't up. have a single dime for the people that are on the streets right now. How does that how does that jive? What about our infrastructure? Why are we repairing other other countries' infrastructure yet ours is crumbling? I, Frankly, I forget the gentleman's name, by the way. I apologize. He, his name is Stephen A. Smith. That's it. Yeah. So uh, you know he is a, an ESPN guy. Or I don't even know where he uh, where he is where he lies now. But you know he used to be um, co-host with Chip Bayless. I think his name is who. Uh, Shannon it, Sharp was with that per- same guy, so I think it might be Skip Bayless. Are you Skip? 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 Shannon, say Skip. Oh, <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, I wish I could do justice to uh, Sh- Shannon Sharp's approach to Eng- the English language, but Skip, Skip, you act like I'm a. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I got so three what? Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Yeah, what did I got to see what you do? You take personal shots. You are. <laughs> That's how I became aware of that guy in general. But I think the first thing that I heard, at least in the shir- in the short, was something to the effect to the effect of, you know, uh, Trump is a shoe in for uh, being president if we don't go down this road so that's what caught my attention and 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 to be honest with you i know there's a lot of uh titles that go around i don't even know if i necessarily know what woke is and maybe someone can really explain to me what that means um and at the end of the day when it comes to just observing a situation or a a way of looking at things i just try to look at it in a way that makes sense to me um and when you and i talk about something or or anybody else talks about or my my fiance and i talk about things when we lay our heads down at the end of the day um i want the conversation to be where we at least understand where we each come from so so i was just wrapping my mind around what he was saying i mean and and yes there is a there is an issue that we are doing all these things for other nations but we can't take care of our own homeless people but are those problems the same thing? Is are is the homeless issue the same as people who are seeking asylum and coming to America and becoming an immigrant? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to answer your I'm gonna try to answer your question a little bit um, with a couple examples. So like here's here's a couple examples. Uh, there's a couple of videos. I don't want to go too long with them, but close to almost close to an entire century of democratic ruling um, has left them in this kind of situation. As a Chicago 
somebody said the current state of America in 13 seconds. Based on this video, I can't tell whether this is a car wreck or a shootout, but either way, it's on brand for Chicago. I don't, I don't think it was a shootout, but uh, the look on her face was priceless for sure. <laughs> somebody took a screenshot and said, well, if it isn't the consequences of my actions, you voted that way. God, it's just the irony is so beautiful. So I just voted for the first time. So it's like, I just voted for the first time, right? So let's go back to here. Now, listen, I'm not mocking these people. Yes. Um, yes, you are. This is a... You're mocking us. I say us. Now, is there anything in particular you want to read from this or... Now, I don't really remember exactly what I said. But as far as understanding the issue... It would be nice to kind of figure out how things go. And I think on some level, as we get into it uh, later on, that the process, there's a problem with the process and that there are two separate issues that we are kind of facing when it comes to immigration status and whether or not America is taking care of their own shit at home, the homelessness, and and, and then still bringing in people from asylum that are you know, quote unquote, asylum seekers. So since for like 25 years, barely spoke a lick of English. Uh, ego, what can you must Assistance. So, you know, ego, what can you must send? What can you must send? What can you must What can you must say? I don't speak English. You know, I don't speak English, massa. I mean, I think that sounds fairly extreme to me. It, that, yeah, that is. I, I think that's 100% the norm. I think. Especially now, I think it's even worse. I mean, they're putting them up in hotels, you know, and it's it's kind of interesting. You know, they give them hotels, they give them EBT cards, they give them a 5000 per person stipend. All right, so $5,000 stipend is, is obviously a lot. And I'm pretty sure I say something about this, but we cannot, uh, we shouldn't allow people to fail if we're going to be taken in the wounded and poor and the hungry from other nations. Granted, there is going to be some people who are doing it illegally, but uh, the whole conspiracy that this is all contrived by the government to keep us to bring down our nation. I don't necessarily say I'm buying it. It's OK. We do go into it a little bit, but I don't necessarily think that that the Irish people that came during a certain period of time were any less coddled than these people right now. I mean, my man. Come on. Bears, if this was okay. No one asked us before they started rifling through our pockets, which is even more more horrible than what, what they usually do on a normal basis, allegedly with our permission. So were but, the uh, Irish coming were the Irish coming for economic reasons or seeking asylum this is this is why i asked the question because what i think occurred during that time is not that they were seeking asylum yes they were having problems with the potato famine or whatever but they were seeking economic uh relief and yes now i know that they have this whole war and Heaven help us all if I have this wrong, but I'm going to, again, research the history of it all. And you know what? We don't always have the history of things right. I, I totally get it. But again, my point in this whole little piece right here. This shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. Right here. This shit, nigga. This shit here, nigga. Is that it's different. And all the rules that were created in order for them to come, including, you know, we don't want to have only idiots coming across. We want, you know, try to get the cream of the crop and welcome them in. It's a little bit different. It's different. That's all I'm saying. Disease like typhus, dysentery, dysentery tuberculosis, and cholera ravaged the population. Uh, the British neglect, uh, neglect exacerbated the crisis as centuries of British rule had left Ireland in extreme poverty. Okay, so there's a little bit of that discrimination and stereotypes. Upon their arrival in America, the Irish encountered widespread, widespread prejudice. They were often portrayed as inferior and subjected to derogatory stereotypes. 
Uh, negative perceptions included accusations of being poor, disease-ridden, and criminal. The Irish were seen as, as a threat to American jobs and welfare budgets, kind of what we're looking at right now, right? Religious differences also contributed to discrimination, uh, the Protestants versus the Catholics, that kind of thing. Um, employers exploited the Irish along with other immigrants and African Americans to suppress demands for better working conditions. This created ethnic tensions that sometimes erupted into violence. The Irish also faced religious discrimination. In summary, the Irish endured immense hardships, discrimination, and challenges as they sought a new life in America during the 19th century. Their resilience and con contributions eventually helped shape the American mainstream, but their early experience were marked by adversity and struggle. So my argument is this. Everyone gets shit on when they first come to America. Every freaking group gets shit on, but every group has to do what? They have to pull themselves up the, by their bootstraps. They have to show that they have value. They have to go through the gauntlet before they can come out. Something seems a little fishy. My, my feathers are being ruffled. And when I say my feathers are being ruffled, I'm thinking about Indians. Feathers, not dots. They were already here, were they not? So they were already Americans and they had it rough, but it wasn't because they came to America and had it rough. I'm just saying, man, I'm just saying. On the other side and cross the finish line, but that's not happening now. What's happening now is they've lowered the bar to the point where if you're an American citizen, you're below an immigrant and that's ridiculously backwards because there's no sense of uh assimilation they had people changing their names when they came to america in order to to seem more americanized that's how desperate they were to try to fit in and become part of america not bring their shithole third world country to america and then trash our entire country that's exactly what's going on um and i can show you all throughout europe and all starting to all, I mean, I'll show you all the border. Just look at the border. Look at any pictures on the border. It looks like it looks like a trash heap. Everywhere that they congregate, there's just trash all over the ground. There's no respect for anything other than what can they get from you. And that's not all of them. I'm just being generally specific. So this Heart is the Seller 1965 Act. Immigration Act explains the Heart hyphen Seller Act, HRT, Seller is C E L L E R Act. Also known as the Immigration and Nas Nationality Act of 1965 is a federal law that abolished the national origins formula, which had been the basis of U.S. immigration policy since 1920. Uh, so basically what they said was uh, what, what it was, was they wanted people that were more like the people that were in, in America. I don't know a whole lot of people that just, you know, want to have a good balance of people invited into their home like, OK, let's get a crackhead. All right, we got a crackhead. Let's get a genius. Okay, now we got we got Elon Musk. Okay, let's get let's get an everyday average person. Okay, well let's get someone that's so severely mentally handicapped that they have to be they have to have two or three people watching them all the time, in order for us to not have our house burned down. So okay, we'll bring in that person, and we had to bring in three people to watch that person so they do not do more damage. So I mean, it, you know, it's funny how diversity is a strength. Look at my face. That face right there is the face, the look of me saying, I disagree with you, sir. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, but no one wants to seem to have levels of diversity within their own home, but they want it within the greater home of America. So when, when, when society's problems become the responsibility of society and society doesn't want to roll up their sleeves and deal with the problems it's easier to say yeah we should allow these things but then who has to deal with it um, so so you say oh, so <laughs> okay fundamentally when you say diverse mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to my mind does not be addiction and uh you know ab abuse and all those things we're talking about diversity with regards to origin right I mean, just to, to keep it simple. Well, well diversity what you is... Threw like, out, what you threw out there inviting into your home 
is something that to me is uh you know oranges and apples no not really because the diversity if you want to just if you don't want to be diverse with your generous explanation of what diversity means then you're not being very diverse correct so <laughs> diversity could be everyone from an intelligent level to an ethnic ethnic level to a cultural level to uh to um a criminal level you know diversity is you know why don't these companies have everyone from an adjudicated retard to an adjudicated genius and everything in between if if it's such a strength to have such a you know diversity means everybody but white people nowadays diversity doesn't mean a difference of opinions or thoughts you know there's diversity of thought there's diversity of religion there's diversity of culture there's diversity of ethnicity there's diversity of intelligence there's all these levels of diversity but they don't care about those diversities uh <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, sir, Down syndromeism, for example, is a down to the chromosome problem. And so you don't need to have Chinese um, Down syndrome people and African Down syndrome. Like, I'm, I, again, it's diversity. The first thing that comes to mind is not how idiot you are how retarded you are as you say i'm sorry i just totally disagree that that's what it is talking about when we're talking about diversity and the generosity of my thoughts in this in this case are like yeah diverse you become diverse as a nation because you have different people it's not diversity of thought though i i, I mean i just don't get the point that you're making there I don't know if I say that I don't get it, but I just don't understand how you're this point that you're trying to make here. I just, I didn't get it. So it's diversity of everything that makes America less like America and more like something that could easily be defeated. So what they mean by diversity and what diversity actually means are two different things, in my opinion. I think it's a perversion of, of the term diversity. And, and it's not on accident. I think I hear. Um, so I, I, I get what you're saying. I, 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 there's a legitimate. I see to what you're saying, but what my point is when they say they want diversity, they only want a certain kind of diversity as opposed to genuine diversity. Does that make sense? So you, so you mean just basically unwhite? I mean, when they're saying what you're saying is when they're saying diversity, they're not saying diverse uh, as in white people who, for example, could be brilliant, stupid addicts, mm -hmm. uh, all the all the above. Yep. But with with brown people, we'll just to just to stay opposite. They can be anything, and we'll take them in. No, no. It, I mean that sounds. A little oversimplified the way right, I said but, it, but right. I, you can clarify. I totally like understand. CNN, for example. <laughs> CNN, for example. Would you say that that they push diversity being important all the time? Now, I, I'm going to answer this question, but to be strictly honest with whoever it is that's listening to this, if you can hear the sound of my voice, I will say there's not much television that I watch that includes CNN or F. Fox. I'm watching a lot of YouTube and I'm watching a lot of um in fact I'm about to watch Shogun. What time is it? Baby, what time is it? I said I said what time is it? Baby, 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 it's cold outside. It's cold outside. What time is it? It's almost time to watch Shogun. Let's see what he says. Well, to the point that you made earlier, I'm very insulated in that regard, so I don't know. You, you know um, what I'm saying? I don't know whether or not it's Fox or CNN or whatever. <laughs> well, Fox, Fox claims to not be liberal, but they're actually very, very liberal. They just pretend to be conservative. Um, they're actually liberal overall is controlling our media so the people that demand diversity don't have a diversity of thought or a diversity of opinions or a diversity of uh 
leanings political. They don't, that's not important to them. That's not strength to them. That actually is a weakening because they're basically communists. At the end of the day, there it's a, we have a, con a communist totalitarian takeover that's happening in this country right now. I mean, I don't, I don't know how many receipts I'd, I'd have to show. I mean, between the indoctrination of our education system, between the takeover of our media, our, our, our commercials, our movie. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like for us to cover, use the submit link in the description or pinned comment. If you enjoyed this one, consider subscribing and hit the bell to be notified of future content. Be sure to check out all of the other content we have for your edutainment. We will continue to respectfully exercise our First Amendment rights and publish the interactions we have with government officials. Remember to like, share, and leave a comment. It's the easiest way for you to let us know your thoughts about our channel. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose it fits, some loose shit, a stupid myth You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift, oh.